In this video, we're going to take a brief look at what can be achieved by some of the new features in Unity 2017's powerful new Timeline Editor. Timeline is an extremely powerful visual sequencer that allows us to queue, animate and edit game objects and components inside of the editor together. In our additional videos, we'll take a more in-depth look at how we can use Timeline to record animations, sequence clips and write a custom script to control the playable director component. The Timeline Editor window is how we control and construct our sequence. Each asset that we want to control in our Timeline sequence is represented through its own track, and each track holds the animation or clip data that we build our sequence with. Thanks to the new preview mode, we can easily preview our Timeline sequence in the editor, make adjustments, and play back in real time. See here how we can scrub through frame by frame to see how our sequence looks. We can even see how it looks in reverse. In the game we're making, we've now decided that we want cool cinematic set pieces, which means we need to do something a bit more interesting with cameras. As you can see, the rest of the timeline sequence remains exactly the same as before, with the animation and position of our character still playing out. However, as our new camera track is an infinite clip, we were able to keyframe different angles and movements which means that just by changing the animation data on our camera, we can get a much more cinematic look to our sequence. Let's suppose we want to fine tune any of these animations on our character to better match these new camera movements. Our animation data is represented in the timeline through clips and are also played back during preview mode. We can move our clips around the timeline to change when they start and how they should blend and behave with other clips on the track and then preview our changes immediately. Additionally, if we want to make any changes to our camera's infinite clip track, we can edit and adjust the keyframes inside of the animation window as we would with any other animation clip. Let's suppose we need a game event that triggers this cutscene. We want to go from some gameplay directly into this animation. This is where the play on awake feature of the playable director component comes in handy. The playable director component controls which timeline asset to play. By default, the playable director will play the timeline asset that is currently referenced on awake. However, if we disable this using the toggle on the component, we can control the playable director to start, stop, and swap timeline assets using a custom script. So now I've put together a little bit of gameplay and we can run around. Using a box collider near the ramp and a behavior script referencing the playable director, we can actually run up to the course, press enter, and we're straight into the cutscene. So that's how Timeline could be used for standalone cutscenes or cutscenes triggered in game, but we can also use Timeline to sequence events while the game is running. So using the same demo here, what if this sequence was showing the player the optimal route to follow in a platformer or acting as a ghost to race against in a time trial? I've written a ghost mode toggle on this custom component, which when enabled, simply forces the game camera to remain active while the timeline sequence is playing. Now, when we trigger the sequence, it will still play out, but we remain in control of our character and our sequence looks like a hologram effect. If you're interested in how to achieve some of the results seen in this video, such as recording clips or writing a custom event component, as well as more information on Timeline's tools and features, there are individual lessons linked below. Thanks for watching.